just about to start walking up the service road to the Ben Crookin Reservoir. Parked on St Conan's Road, nice spot. And uh, what we have to do is go up the service road, which is up here. So today it's the 9th of April 2019 and um, I just wanted to take you up to the reservoir at Ben Crookin. Um, not all of us can walk up from the station because it's, uh, it's just I mean, it is just straight up and uh, I'm too old, my knees are too old and my Achilles is a bit of a risk so for those who aren't quite as nimble as they used to be the service road is uh, is quite a good little way to get up there and the views at the top of the reservoir are superb um and i'll keep going from side to side but that's just really to say that it starts off on quite a steep slope uh, so don't let that worry you too much just get uh, just keep going and then uh, it uh, gets a little bit uh, easier So just to give you an idea, I've been uh, climbing for half an hour and this is how high I am relative to that start point which is down by the lockside basically. Look at those views. You can see all the way down Loch Orr there. So it's taken me 50 minutes of uh, steady walking to get up here uh, and I really am a steady walker, uh, not too fast. Down there is the visitor centre for the Ben Crookin power station and uh, you can get inside the power station itself which is under this mountain and uh, that's, a, that's a really good trip. But that's the way up that uh, the fit and healthy take up that uh, stream bed uh, and there's a reservoir so let's go and explore two ways to get up to the dam you can take the track continue taking the track the service road on the right there or the service road here which goes to the base of the dam and uh, I thought I'd just come this way so that you get an idea of the scale of the structure right underneath it. I really would recommend uh, doing the tour of the power station because they take you on a bus to the turbines which are built into the mountain and it's just like going back into the past sort of 1960s 70s engineering quite magnificent okay to get up on the dam there's a path just there which I'm going to take, so I'll see you in about five minutes, I reckon.
here so I'll just take you to the trek that goes to climb Ben Crook and the Peak past the Auburn Mountain Rescue. <laughs> So when you look at the Ordnance Survey map, there are actually quite a lot of tunnels built into the rock, into the mountain, which bring water into the reservoir from all sides of the mountain. Pretty impressive stuff actually. Not so. So this is the end of that service track at the end of the dam. And there's a peak and the track starts just there. But I think I'll give that a miss. Well at least a day. It's crazy to think that uh, three or four days ago all this was covered in snow. I've actually been up here when it's uh, covered in snow, it's absolutely magnificent. to say this would be a great camping spot all you need is the keys look at that nice and flat okay so just walking back to the dam from the path up to Ben Crook and Peak my understanding of how or why the reservoir exists is that the power stations are kind of battery so that at peak times, they release water from this reservoir all the way down to the turbines at the bottom of the mountain, thus creating energy. And then when there's very low demand, they pump the water back up. Now obviously there's a natural feed and there are these canals from around the mountain or tunnels through the mountain. But I believe they do have to pump water back up and it's interesting because if you look at the dam there, look how low it is at the moment given how much snow we've had. Because the overflow, the water is way below the overflow. The other thing is, <clears throat> can you see over there, there's a track on the other side, which is a walk up to that peak and then across the ridges, I believe. It's fabulous up here. Really is. What's even more fabulous is there's just me. <laughs> it's a bit selfish, but uh, it's great. So when I came up to walk to the end of the dam, basically walked up here. Uh, but I do want to show you the views of Loch Hoare. Um, from well, what is effectively the edge of the mountain. So I'm just going to take you up there.
Okay, just walking back to the dam. Uh, a bit less breezy here, so hopefully this wind slayer is working. I'm still waiting for the uh, GoPro adapter for an external microphone so I can get rid of the wind noise, but uh, they're on back order and they have been for about three or four weeks, so whether I'll ever see one this side of the summer, I don't know. There's the service road back down, that's where I'm going. So this is the track to climb that ridge and the peak up here behind me. There's Ben Kruken. Track on the other side that we took to the end of the reservoir. And there's the dam. Lock all. Uh, and about to enjoy the marvellous views walking back down. So I've also been a bit curious about this. I mean, why 24 miles an hour is the speed limit? Quite breezy here. I don't know whether anybody else finds this, but sometimes I find going down, walking downhill, is actually harder than walking uphill. It must be an age thing. So basically I just walked from the antenna up there, all the way down across the dam, down the service road this far. And um, that's Branda Pass there. Apparently there was a great battle there. I'm not quite sure, I'll have to look that up. But uh, I was going to say, if you fancy some decent food, uh, just try the Branda. It's the lodge or the hotel. It's a hotel and a restaurant, but the food's really good there. Uh, just uh, before you get to um, the petrol station. Right, so that's me back at the car. Uh, it's about three and a half hours, steady away, uh, not too arduous, and uh, great views, great experience. See you on the next one.